house husbands, gangbuster. Do you reckon from The Apprentice where they saw a different side of you helped? Definitely. Yeah, right. Definitely. You know, the um, Channel 9 had uh, did The Apprentice. And I think before I started uh, to do The Apprentice, I th they, they definitely, and they've said it to me a number of times, they had a very different view of what I was like. Yeah, right. I think that they thought that I was a bit of a double bay matron who was all, oh my God, I just really love rich stuff. Yeah, right, right. Not realising that I am the polar opposite of yeah, that. So right. I think they started to get to know me through, and of course they see so much more footage than we get to see on the television. They just get to see days and days and totally. days and days of what you're really like under pressure. Yeah. And I say to people, if you're gonna do a reality show, just remember yourself when you're grumpy and tired. Yeah, God. Because my grumpy tired when I'm out and about is just smart ass silly. Right. Yeah. It's yep. not doesn't turn into bitchy. I will take you know bringing out the claws and yeah. getting the letting the rat out. Yeah. Right. I'm just more like oh God. Here we go. How hilarious is this? Yeah. So that was That's nice. that worked for reality television. Totally. That was good. Rather than you know getting so fist of fury for, by everything. Yeah. And also, again, having little kids, you were prepared for it. Makes the world of yeah, difference. So I think they'd seen me in such a different light through Apprentice that when I went in for a meeting straight after Apprentice finished, and they said, "What do you want to do?" And oftentimes, networks will have meetings with you How like beautiful. that. Beautiful. I've never had a meeting like that. They don't want to. They're not going to do it for you. They just want to hear what's inside your head. Oh, that's nice. So, so nice. after it takes two, and I won it takes two, I had exactly the same meeting. Right, right. Where they're right. like, okay, well, what do you want to do? And I think that you're obviously like, um, here's all the things I've ever wanted to do, and they're just <laughs> not appropriate for either what the network are doing at that time, or how they see you, right. or they have a very different version of how you see yourself. Right. And everybody wants to do a chat show. Yeah. Everybody yeah. wants to do a chat show, Any, every performer, because we love the idea of asking more questions and finding yeah. out more about people. Yeah. And so, when I went in and said I want to do, I'd like to do a drama, even if it's a walk-on role in the background, just to start to change people's perceptions. I'd just been in Los Angeles for two years at drama school, right. trying to sharpen those skills to see if there was any way I could, I could break in. It's a strange career move in your 40s to decide you're going to go to a completely different arm of the entertainment industry. Yeah. And they said, there's something coming up. Um, we don't know when that's going to be. Uh, we'll let you know. And then I had an audition a couple of months later and I'd been offered lots of stuff in the meantime, all sorts of shows, you know, will you host Australia's greatest pet headstands? <laughs> you know, like, I mean, ri absolutely ridiculous. Will you come and host the, like the arm farting competition? And I, it was just insane. I kept saying, no, no, no. And that is not my MO at all to yeah. say no to work. Yeah, it wasn't right. making sense to me. And Dan kept saying, just hang in there. And my agent was the same, hang in there, something good will come if you just lay low. Don't just take the next thing that's yeah. coming along. And there was people writing articles saying, you know, whatever happened to her, she should have used the, you know, the, the apprentice to, as a springboard, to, but she's done nothing. And yeah, I'm thinking, right. shh, I'm lying in the long grass, mate. Yeah, right. And then all of a sudden... Because it, it is scary to say no to things because you don't know if there will be a next thing. You and know? also, I, I've come from a... Uh, when I talk about working class family, you don't say no to work. You yeah. say yes to everything that comes along. And I don't think that I realised early in my career, and it might not even have existed then, is the strategy of where I want to be in five years and therefore what I have to accept now to get there. Right, right, right. So I just accepted every job that came along. Oh my God, that'd be amazing. I'd love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'd love to host men in frocks. <laughs> <laughs> and also, I loved it. Like, loads of the things that I've done it would be very daggy for general public, yeah, where they're like, oh, God, she's fun. so tragic. I loved every moment of it. Great. I yeah. haven't regretted a second of it. I've had a ball. Oh. If I died tomorrow, I'm not joking, like touch wood or whatever we need to do, but I've had a great time. That's so cool. <laughs> awesome. People need to be more like you. Like, your glass is half full. Mine is often below half empty. Oh, mine's nowhere near the half. I'm up the top the whole time. <gasps> Can oh, you pour yeah. a little in mine? It's amazing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so then House Husbands comes along. Incredible role. Fantastic. They said, you get to go to work each day and kiss Gary Sweet on the lips. I'm like, what? when do I turn up? Oh, yeah, totally. What's happening? Mind you, he, I saw him at the Logies. He was like reeked of cigarettes and booze. And I thought, Ciggies. you totally... You Gaz. Have to put your, do you put your tongue in? No. Do you talk about that beforehand? 
Well, I don't know what the rules are. Neither, but I'm always so intrigued to go, do you have to say, all right, if we're, if we're doing this, do, don't put your hand I here. Think, um, I think knowing his partner, I don't know. I just think, do you know what? I don't like looking at tongues on camera. No. And that. Oh, like on The Bachelor. That noise. When, yes. Oh, The Bachelor. We're going to have to have another whole session about that. I can't even speak as my But you know what also I hate is seeing people kiss in the morning. I'm like, foul. If it's a really nice love scene and then they're in the morning, I'm Move like, you lost me. Oh, yeah, go on. It's disgusting. No. Loses and also me. we are an older couple in the show yeah. we're our ages but we're not the groovy young people that are sexy and people want to see us you know see your tongues go get on. it on yeah right we're sort of the you know we're the more the elder statesmen <laughs> of the <laughs> So I just think, oh, no one no, needs to see us. Like there. even when, you know, you see us in bed, I always just think it's just a bit creepy. <laughs> Having said that, Gary Sweet is a great kisser. So I don't mind really? kissing Gary at all. I've got zero issue with that. See, so you get to, because it's natural to, when you're in long-term relationships, to kind of look at other people. It is a natural thing to do. Absolutely. You get to just get that out of your system, like legally. It's the best. Get into acting. <laughs> it's amazing. <laughs> and you know what? You can't turn the engines on without the headlights going on automatically. Really? Oh, it's amazing, kissing. Except the whole bit where the whole crew's around. But I'm like, I don't care who's around. I never did. No, but I always think about, <laughs> I always think about like when, which I know you haven't known, like, but full on sex scenes. I think, does the guy get a bone? You couldn't not. I think they, well, they say um, that the actresses get offended if they do and offended if they don't. <laughs> I would. I would be a little bit offended. I'd just be like, oh no, what are we going to, oh, good, what do you do? <laughs> but well, there it is. The engine's gone on as well, if the headlights aren't going to go on automatically. I, I'm so glad you said that because I yeah. find it bullshit when people go, it's just work. It's like, yeah, but you'd have to still feel something. You, of course you do. The feelings are still the same. Yeah. That's absolutely still the same feeling. Great. And, but the other that. thing is when they call cut, you've got to, oh, yeah, we're just all, yeah, we're just all normal about that. We're yeah. so professional. Yeah, no, that's it. Oh, that was a lot. I think that went really well. Whereas inside you're like, I'm going to have to go and have a little sit down for a minute. <laughs>